My name is Rudy Williams. I'm a photographer and artist based in Nam, Melbourne. My work's very much uh, centred around the coincidences that I experience when I am photographing. So there are definitely themes that I keep returning to, like objects in museums, architectural structures, residues of history on glass or in space. Often when I'm photographing from observation, it's something that surprises me that I like to photograph, so I'm not sure what that will be. The work that I've made for The National is a restaging of the show that um, I had at Sutton Gallery in 2021, which was called Unfixed, Skia, 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 Ombra, 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 Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. So for The National, we'll be restaging the exhibition in three iterations across the duration of the show. One of the reasons why I wanted to make this gesture of changing the works um, was to put people in that state of unknown that I experience when I'm walking the streets or traveling and for the sole purpose of photographing. An example of stumbling upon something unexpected was with this work that I took in Paris. I was walking down the street with my 35 mil camera and saw a group of people taking a photo or preparing to take a photo with a 5x4 camera here. And fortunately I was holding my camera at the time and to me I feel like it's a dance of the history of photography on the street. So there are people taking photos and light readings of the subject matter of this photo. There's a 5x4 camera. There's a man who just happens to be walking past with a tripod and camera. Yeah. These photos don't happen that often. I took this in 2018 at Melbourne Zoo in the butterfly enclosure and I was photographing this butterfly resting on the back of the woman. And I took this photograph because in 2014 I photographed this Hellenistic sculpture in the Louvre. Um, and I remember when I photographed it, I was thinking about a lot of things, but I was thinking about this hole in the back of the sculpture and how emotional I found it. In that moment when I saw this, I immediately connected the two and decided that I would, if it turned, this photograph turned out, I would um, display it with this one in the future. I like to work with different forms of photography because I feel like they all have different weights, meaning like sculptural weights in the space but also they all have different weights of labour around them, which I'm very interested in learning. Well, I like to use two cameras mainly. The first is this OM-1, which I've been using since I was 16. So this is a completely manual camera. It's called a 5x4 view camera. You can see here that the camera is just a direct passage between the light in front of the lens through to the film and the back of the camera which is the ground glass. Then to focus you use what's called dark cloth to get rid of the reflection on the ground glass so you can see the image. So you take the dark cloth off, put the dark side in and then you close the lens and select your exposure. And you advance the shutter and click the shutter. The second stage of my process is printing in the dark room. So uh, today I'll be printing my color work with the assistance of ASCO when I focus. So this is where I 
uh, load my negatives and make sure that the framing is correct. And tape it down so it doesn't move. And then I go into the dark room and start enlargements. The dark room that I've been printing at um, for the last few years is actually Asko Raihanen's dark room, who's a master printer who's been printing for um, many decades in Melbourne. Okay, um, so I'm turning the focus on Asko, yeah. and I'll take it out of focus and then I'll bring it back in. Okay, I'm bringing it into focus by eye. Just very slowly. That's looking sharp from here. That's it. Okay. Yep. Great. Thank you. Now I'll cut a test strip. I'm going to burn in some of the areas that need to be burnt in. And I hold my hand close to the lens so that the edge is out of focus. And make sure that I move my hand so that it doesn't register the edge of my hand. And then also make sure I don't touch the lens because then it will blur the image. So now I'm loading the test strip into a loading box to take it to the processor downstairs. When printing a photograph by hand, often things that people have become accustomed to in Photoshop happen in real life. Often you'll get dust on your negative and then that will become larger when you enlarge the negative and um, although you might try and get it off before you make the print um, there might still be some dust left over so that will require what people call spotting. With colour spotting you have to mirror the tones around the dust spot and also the size of the grain. I use a dye which is water soluble and then you mix up the tone and I often do a test on a test strip so I don't ruin the final print and then you have to just really slowly spot it out and it's important that you don't layer it too quickly otherwise it will become more visible than it was before you spotted it. So that's the right tone so then I'll go over to the other print hopefully they become invisible. So I'm not sure what to expect with the restaging of this work. I didn't know what to expect the first time. By making this obstruction or this um, gesture of changing the works I'm really curious to know what will happen. Mm -hmm.